TCP Transmission Control Protocol and UDP User Datacram Protocol are both transport layer protocols used in computer networks. They operate at layer 4 of the OSI Open Systems Interconnection model, meaning they are responsible for handling the transport of data between devices on a network. Neither protocol is tied to a specific port by default, but both use ports to help identify where data should go on the receiving device. Applications like web browser or streaming services will specify a port number for data to be sent or received. TCP or Transmission Control Protocol is known as a connection oriented protocol. This means that before two devices can exchange data, they first must establish a connection. The process of setting up this connection is done through something called three-way handshake. The three-way handshake works like this. The sender or client sends a SYN, synchronize the packet to the receiver server, asking to start a connection. The receiver responds with a SYN ACK or synchronize the acknowledge packet, which acknowledges the request and also asks to synchronize the connection. Finally, the sender replies with ACK, acknowledge packet, confirming the connection is now established. Once a three-way handshake is complete, the devices can start exchanging data, and TCP makes sure that all packets or all small chunks of data are delivered correctly and in order. If packet is lost or arrives out of order, TCP detects this and will retransmit the missing or damaged packets. Error checking is in place. Each packet has a checksum that helps the receiver verify whether the data was corrupted during transmission. If it was, TCP requests the sender to resend it. Flow control and congestion control. TCP uses mechanism to avoid overwhelming the network or the receiving device. It adjusts the rate at which data is sent depending on how fast the receiver can handle it. Because of these features, TCP is reliable, but it comes at a cost. It is slower compared to UDP. The protocol has to wait for acknowledgements, ensures that all data correctly received, and handles transmissions if necessary. TCP is used in situations where accuracy is more important than speed. For instance, when you are browsing a web, sending an email or downloading a file. It is critical that the entire message arrives correctly and in the right order, which is why TCP is used. UDP or User Datagram Protocol, on the other hand, is a connectionless protocol. This means there is no handshake or formal connection setup before data starts flowing between two devices. UDP just sends packets, known as datagrams, to the receiver, but it doesn't check if they arrive in the correct order or even if they arrive at all. Because UDP doesn't have the overhead of setting up and maintaining a connection like TCP does, it is much faster but also less reliable. There is no guarantee that the packets will arrive at the destination, the packets will arrive in the correct order, or the packets won't be duplicated. UDP is sometimes described as the best effort protocol, because it simply sends the data and leaves it up to the application or the receiver to handle any errors or missing data. And this makes UDP ideal for situations where speed is more important than perfect accuracy. For example, in live video streaming or online gaming, it's better to keep the flow of data continuous. Even if a few packets are lost, retransmitting lost data could introduce delays that would make the stream or game unplayable. In these scenarios, a little missing data doesn't ruin the overall experience, but delay would. Ports and applications. Both TCP and UDP use ports to direct the data to the correct application on the receiving device. For instance, web traffic generally uses port 80 HTTP or port 443 HTTPS. While online gaming or streaming services may use other ports, the port number is a way of telling the receiving computer which application should handle the incoming data. It is important to note that the both TCP and UDP support many different port numbers, ranging from 0 to 
65,535. The first 1,024 ports are called well-known ports, and specific services like web servers, email and FTP often use them. For example, TCP port 80 is often used for HTTP or hypertext transfer protocol web traffic, and UDP port 53 is used for DNS or domain name system queries. However, other ports may be used by custom applications or services depending on the needs of the network. To sum this all up, TCP and UDP serve different purposes based on their core characteristics. TCP is a connection-oriented, reliable, but slower due to the three-way handshake error connection and packet acknowledgement. It ensures that data is transmitted accurately and in the correct order. This makes it ideal for tasks where accuracy is critical, like browsing the web, transferring files and emails, where UDP is connectionless fast but less reliable. It doesn't guarantee that all packages arrive or that they arrive in the correct order. This makes it ideal for real-time applications like online gaming, video calls or streaming, where speed is more important than complete accuracy. Both protocols are essential to how the internet functions and they are used in different scenarios depending on whether the priority is speed or reliability.